In an interview recorded on August 31st, Ibrahim Traore, the military junta of Burkina Faso, said, We are not enemies with the French people, it is the policy of those who run France that poses a problem in Africa, so as long as a state is not in an imperialist spirit, there is no problem. We must agree to look at each other as equals and we must agree to review all of our cooperation. Without naming it, he chastised France for having granted independence and placed people at the helm of certain states. According to him, we have led people to sign a lot of agreements that prevent us from developing, and the imperialist states are not just France, there are others. He then added that Burkina Faso has since been seeking new cooperation with people who would support the country in terms of equipment and other things. Since Traore came into power in October 2022, he has distanced Burkina Faso from her former colonizer and gotten closer to several non-Western allies, including Russia, Turkey, and Iran. On the evening of September 5, 2023, Captain Ibrahim Traore welcomed Ahmad bin Abdulaziz Katon, an advisor to the Royal Court of Saudi Arabia, who carried a special message from the Saudi king to the Burkinabi head of state. While conveying the greetings sent by the Saudi king, Katon highlighted the robust relations maintained by both countries and extended an invitation to Traore to participate in two forthcoming summits in Saudi Arabia, scheduled for November 10th and 11th. These summits encompass the Afro-Saudi Summit and the Arab-African Summit. Olivia Ruemba, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Regional Cooperation and Burkina Faso Abroad, said that multiple agreements will be inked during these meetings, and Saudi Arabia's financial support for critical projects in Burkina Faso will be unlocked. The conversations also focused on the projects that Burkina Faso intends to offer for Saudi financing, emphasizing the Saudi Kingdom's support for critical infrastructure development that will benefit the Burkinabi people. One of the reasons for Saudi Arabia's visit to Burkina Faso was to seek Burkina Faso's support in its bid to host World Expo 2030. President Traoré responded by expressing his support for Saudi Arabia's ambition to host the 2030 World Expo. For Saudi Arabia to seek the support of President Traoré, it means that indeed Traoré has proven himself as an outstanding leader who is worthy to be reckoned with. This must be the reason why one of the most powerful economic groups in the world, BRICS, awarded Traoré the prestigious BRICS medal. The medal, awarded by the International Alliance of Strategic Projects, BRICS, recognizes Captain Traoré's unwavering fight for the sovereignty of his country and serves as a tribute to his exceptional determination and courage in defending Burkina Faso's autonomy. During the ceremony led by President Larissa Zelensova with an audience of BRICS delegates, discussions were held concerning BRICS collaboration and support in Burkina Faso. Zelensova emphasized the establishment of the BRICS Alliance's representation in Burkina Faso, with a focus on critical areas to be chosen in consultation with the transition president. Zelensova further emphasized that the BRICS countries and Burkina Faso's planned areas of collaboration include economic, humanitarian, and cultural growth. This collaboration intends to promote mutual growth and advancement through strengthening economic links, boosting humanitarian initiatives, and encouraging cultural interchange between Burkina Faso and the BRICS countries. This is definitely a big win for Traoré. Another country that Ibrahim Traoré has sought partnerships with is China. On June 29, 2023, Liu Yuxi, special representative of the Chinese government on African affairs, met with Traoré in Ouagadougou to exchange views on bilateral ties and matters of common interest and concern. Liu Shan, the Chinese ambassador to Burkina Faso, was also present. Liu Yushi stated that since the reopening of diplomatic relations, the two countries have strongly backed each other on issues relating to their respective core interests, and practical cooperation has produced positive results. He further stated that China supports the people of Burkina Faso in pursuing a development path tailored to its own national circumstances, as well as in ensuring national security and stability and attaining economic and social progress. In addition, Liu Yushi said that China is willing to work with Burkina Faso to continuously strengthen political mutual confidence and deepen mutually beneficial cooperation. In response, 
President Ibrahim Traoré stated that Burkina Faso regards China as a prior and important cooperative partner, adheres to the One China Principle, and expresses heartfelt gratitude to China for actively assisting Burkina Faso in dealing with security crises and promoting economic and social development. He also added that Burkina Faso is eager to expand bilateral relations in order to benefit both countries and people. Ibrahim Traoré, like Rock Mark Christian Cabore and Lieutenant Colonel Paul Henri Sandiogo Damaba, before him, has also made Turkey one of his primary military partners, supplying him with Bayraktar TB2 armed drones and armored vehicles to protect against improvised explosive devices. In a national television interview, Captain Traoré cited Turkey as a major ally, assuring that his country will cooperate with those who want to help in the war on terrorism that has plagued Burkina Faso since 2015. After Erdogan Rivep, president of Turkey, was re-elected in May 2023, Traoré took to his Twitter account to convey his congratulations and also reaffirmed his commitment to strengthening friendship and collaboration between Burkina Faso and the Republic of Turkey. Erdogan's re-election provides an opportunity to strengthen bilateral relations and explore opportunities for partnership in a variety of industries. Traoré also stated his willingness to collaborate with Erdogan to improve mutual understanding and cooperation for the sake of both countries. Aside from Russia, Turkey, China, and Iran, Captain Traoré has also sought to deepen its ties with revolutionary movements in Latin America. In May 2023, Apollinaire Joachim Kailam de Tembela, the Prime Minister of Burkina Faso, traveled to Venezuela to meet with the President of Venezuela on behalf of Traoré. Tembela met with Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro, who promised to advance in cooperation, solidarity, and growth, building a solid fraternal relationship. In July, the Burkina Bi Prime Minister also visited Nicaragua to commemorate the 44th anniversary of the Sandinista Revolution. Tembela attended Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega's July 19th Revolution commemoration in Managua. Tembela emphasized the historical heritage of solidarity between the revolutions in Burkina Faso and Nicaragua in his speech on the anniversary of the Sandinista Revolution. He recalled revolutionary leader Thomas Sankara visiting Nicaragua in 1986 and Sandinista leader Daniel Ortega visiting Burkina Faso in the same year. Tembela went on to say that Burkina Faso backed Nicaragua in its International Court of Justice challenge against the U.S. Washington was found guilty of unlawfully funding far-right contra death squads that launched a terror campaign against Nicaragua's Marxist government, as well as planting mines in the country's ports. So, from this, it can be concluded that Captain Traore is hard at work trying to build diplomatic relationships with other nations that would benefit Burkina Faso in the coming years. What are your thoughts? Do leave your comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video.